people who are really doing most of the work are usually the people at the bottom. So telling the people at the bottom to work with more urgency when they're probably already stressed out to hell and probably anxious and are probably low income and dealing with a lot of crap already, it's like that's not going to motivate them to work faster. You're just setting them up for a panic attack and for burning out. So yeah, I think the whole way that America views work, I know some of you probably aren't in America, but like at least here in America, I feel like the way we view work is just super unhealthy. It's like I gotta be going all the time, all the time, all the time. Work with a sense of urgency. Take on a bajillion side gigs. Do everything. Don't ever stop. Don't breathe. Don't sleep. Don't do anything. And that's extremely unhealthy. We're not robots. Laugh at Darkness says, we go through psychosis if we get too stressed. So like, we need to chill or else it's bad. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You know what we should do? We should give all of the neurotypical people, including the bosses, especially the bosses, maybe not. Okay. Let's just, let's just do this to the higher ups, the people who are employers. We'll give them mental illness for a while. Just, just poof. Magic wand, wave the wand. You have psychosis. You have autistic burnout. You have this, you have this, you have this and then put them in the same job that the people on th at the bottom are doing and see how they feel about that. And when they realize that they have to take a break for actual legitimate mental health reasons, they'll be like, oh, oh, I get it now. That's why I keep losing employees. You know, I'm gonna start putting in more progressive policies in the workplace. Or or they'll just go back to the way things were, because we all know how this how this goes, you know. That's kinda how I feel like it was with the whole, you know, 2020, all the events that happened in 2020, which forced people to kinda, you know, change the way they work, work from home, actually think about disabled people as well. It was a great time for me, it was a great time for other disabled people. But I feel like at this point we've gone back to normal and it's like, have you even learned anything? I thought we were supposed to overthrow capitalism in 2020. We have not yet. We have not fixed everything. Maybe some things improved, like some jobs actually allow you to work from home more now, which is great, but not all. Wardy says, corporate America never really learned to understand mental illness. Yeah, and that's screwed up because again, we're not robots, we're humans. I mean, if you wanna just replace us with robots, sure, go ahead. Then maybe we won't need capitalism. Just, just, just give us money for staying at home and let the robots do the work.